Welcome to our Quick Map 3D on Android crime scene training video using the TruePoint 300 system. Five, two, let's go. With the laser connected to your device, start the Quick Map 3D app and select New Survey. After entering a file name, choose the TruePoint 300 option as your device, and then choose Radial with Angle as your mapping method. Set your units of measure, instrument height, and target height. If only a two-dimensional map is needed, uncheck the 3D box. Tap Next to continue. From the Set Origin screen, tap the connection icon to connect to the TruePoint 300. Follow the prompts on the TruePoint 300 to level and calibrate the laser. Bring the laser horizontal so that the digital bubbles appear in the green area. Then, it will beep and automatically move to the next step when it is satisfied. Next, rotate the true point to reduce the green area until it beeps. Rotate the true point a second time, reducing the green until the true point beeps to complete the leveling routine. If you know the coordinates and a reference azimuth for the point, enter them here. Otherwise, accept the defaults and fire the laser at a reference point. Tap Next to continue. You are now ready to begin mapping. To collect point feature data, such as a bullet casing, make sure that icon is selected. Aim and shoot to the first point of evidence and listen for the audio confirmation that data has come through. Enter a note or code for this point and make sure your instrument and target height values are good. Tap Submit. The new point will now be displayed on the map. Make sure it's in the correct place before proceeding. To store a photo of that mapped point, tap the camera icon. Take a picture of the evidence and tap the check mark to save it. To map in a line feature, select that icon and shoot in your first point. Name the line feature and add an additional note for this point. Tap Submit. Tap the auto check mark and continue shooting in points on the line. If a point is missed and needs to be inserted, uncheck Auto, shoot it in, and select where to place it. To shoot in the corners of a room, select the polygon icon and measure to the first corner. Name the room and add an additional note if needed. Tap Submit. Check Auto and continue to collect all the corners of the room, appending each shot to the end of the feature. Again, if a point is missed, uncheck Auto, shoot it in, and select where to place it. If important pieces of evidence are out of sight from this position, shoot in a point that you can see them from or identify one already mapped. Tap the Move icon, enter the point number to occupy, and tap Next. Move the equipment to the new location, reference or zero the TruePoint 300 on the previously occupied point, and enter the new instrument height. Begin mapping in the same manner by choosing the point type, taking the shot, and entering a note. Before finishing the survey, make sure all the important evidence has been mapped. If errors are detected at any time, use the Delete and Reshoot buttons on the main screen, or the editing capabilities within the Point Detail routine. Generate output files and reports by tapping the Save icon found at the top of the Live Map screen. Select the types of files needed and tap the Save icon. If you have a broadband connection on the device, tap the Save and Send icon to automatically email the report files to a designated address. Back at the office, these output files can be imported directly into your desktop diagramming software. Map a crime scene quicker and easier with LTI's Quick Map 3D system.